Yo, 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 what up? It's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks. Bring you some MLB run through on this beautiful Saturday morning. Um, I'm in the Northeast and it's in the 80s, so it's pretty beautiful out. A nice day for some baseball. Should be a nice day in New York for the Yanks. And what else we got going on? Uh, you know, the KBO, Hanwha, you know, they decided to crush KT and screw up my parlay, but everything else hit. That's why we play them straight. You know that? That's why you got to play them straight and put them together. So with that said, let's get going into this video. All right. First game today, we got the Twins versus the Yankees. Let's click. Uh, we got Tyler Mahe, Male, and Domingo Herman going. I don't even need to look at the pitcher's stats on this one. Uh, there's no way the Twins are going to sweep the Yankees in New York, right? I don't know. Maybe. So I think our best bet here. I eh, will check anyways. Male, what did you do? He gave up some runs in Houston. Dangerous lineup. Not much to Miami. I'm thinking he's good for 3-4 to give up to the Yanks. Domingo Armand. Uh, we got some runs. I'm looking at the over. And I'm looking at the Yankees money line on this one. Next. Giants and the Tigers. The Tigers beat them yesterday in extras. That was pretty crazy. So today we got Anthony DiScafalani. Versus Michael Lorenz, and uh, he's getting his start finally this year. So, as of right now, we got... He pitched against the Royals. Three hits, one earned run, seven Ks. Any walks? No walks. Nice. Michael Lorenz hasn't pitched this year, but let's see what we got here. In the spring. It doesn't really matter about the spring. He was pitching good towards the end of the year last year. Um, the Tigers can beat the Giants again. I don't know. I like Anthony DiScafalani pitching good today. And I like the Giants on the money line. And maybe the under. The under is looking nice, too. All right, next up, we got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Chicago White Sox. Kyle Gibson and Michael Kopech. Let's see what Kopech did. He... Pitch six innings. Wow, against the Pirates though. Um, against the Giants, he gave up eight hits, seven runs. Wow, okay. Against this dangerous Orioles lineup, Kyle Gibson's three and zero. I just saw. Huh? I'm liking. I think I'm liking the Orioles to win this one if this loads up. We'll see. Let's go here. Go there. Last time out against Oakland, uh, five hit baseball, one earned run. Three walks, though. Why you got to do that, buddy? Against Texas. Seven innings. Six hits. Two runs. Five Ks. All right. We're liking the Orioles here. And probably the money line. And potentially the over. Next up, we got the Pirates and the Cardinals. Ramsey Contreras for Steven Matz, right? Steven Matz has been getting up a lot of runs. Uh, so has uh, Ronzi Contreras he, against Houston, seven earned runs. Boston, he did good against. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm liking the Pirates and the over here. I think I'd take the Pirates plus one and a half to be safe. Next up, Blue Jays and Rays. The Rays finally lost yesterday. Now they're going up against Kikuchi. Uh, I don't know who this pitcher is for the Rays. Who's this? Calvin Fucker? Calvin Foucher? Versus UCA Kikuchi. Uh, let's see how he did. He went... Oh, he's just a starter for them, huh? Oh, so the bullpen day for the Rays. Kikuchi. Against the Angels. 4.1 innings. 9 hits. Oof. Damn. I'm like in the raise here, especially after they lost. 
Yeah, I'm making raise on the money line. I right, on that one. All right, then we got Brewers and Padres, and the Brewers beat them good yesterday. And now they got Freddy Peralta. Wow, against Seth Lugo. Good pitching matchup today. So the over under is eight. Milwaukee's plus one and a half. Uh, I think here you go with the plus one and a half for the Brewers, you know, or try to take a shot with them on the money line. Freddy Peralta is pretty good. I uh, saw so Seth Lugo. Maybe look at the under also. So Milwaukee's got the worst bullpen though. I just uh, researched it this morning. They have the highest ERA in the bullpen, so I don't know about the under. Maybe I would just be safe with the plus one and a half. All right, next game we got the Guardians and the Nationals. Chad Cole versus Zach Plesac. Where Zach Plesac has not been pitching too well. High ERA. Like seven innings, five hits, two runs. Oh, that's actually pretty good, though. Against Oakland, that's why six earned runs. Okay. In one inning. Damn. Chad Cole, on the other hand. Five innings, six hits, five earned runs. Five innings pitch, four hits, four and runs against the Rays. So, we're definitely liking the Guardians here. I'm just going to go with the minus one and a half there. That would be the best bet. Next up, the Mets and the A's. Carlos Carrasco versus, uh, what's his first name? Shintaro Fujinami. He's 0-2. They're both 0-2 as starters. High ERAs. Oh my goodness. We're not even going to look. We're going to look at the over here. The only way to play this would be Mets. Money line, minus 1.5 in and the over. I think the over is the best option. Next up, D-backs, Marlins. Ryan Nelson versus, what is it, Braxton Garrett? Yeah, Braxton Garrett. Oh, he's 1-0, and oh, Ryan Nelson. Let's see. Against the Dodgers. Four hit baseball, three earned runs. Not bad. Against the Padres. Six hits, three earned runs. That's pretty good pitching, man. Uh, against Braxton Garrett, where he... Against the Mets. Nine hits, two earned runs. Seven Ks. That's pretty good, too. Against the Mets again. Six hits, two earned runs. Wow. Oh, this might be a nice matchup here, man. It could be under... Maybe the first five under, or I like the D-backs all the way. Uh, what happened yesterday, actually? Oh, the Marlins beat them good yesterday, huh? Five to one? Hmm. Definitely then D-backs. If you want to get the plus one and a half to be safe, go ahead. But I like that money line here. Next up, we got the Braves and the Royals. Bryce Elder versus Chris Bubich. Uh, Bryce Elder has been pitching one of both pitchers have been pitching very nice this year Obviously he didn't give up any runs yet six hits seven K's against the Reds against the Cardinals two hits six K's Now we're looking at Chris Bubich for the Royals Bubich uh, Against the Giants two hitter nine K's Wow Against Toronto, seven hits, two in runs, four Ks. No walks, okay. This one, uh, I think you gotta be either over the under here. Got two good pitchers going under first five, maybe. Cause the Royals don't score much, anyways. Um, under first five, or you just take the Braves on the money line to make it easy. Next up, Phillies and Reds. Matt Stram and Graham Ashcraft. Wow, Matt Stram has been pitching good. Uh, who won yesterday? What was his final score? Uh, the Phillies beat him 8-3 yesterday. Okay. And they got good pitching on the mound today. 
You have four hits, six Ks, well, four innings, one hit, three Ks. Yeah, he's pitching really well. Mastercraft, six hits, seven Ks. Six Ks. This is going to be a lot of strikeouts in this game. Uh, we is liking here. I'm liking the Phillies all the way. Phillies money line on this one would be your best. Um, and maybe the under. I was going to say under first five. So I'd be looking at the under first five, under for the game, and for the Phillies money line. Next up. We got the Angels and the Red Sox. Tyler Anderson versus Nick Pavetta. Nick Pavetta's been pitching really well this year also. Tyler Anderson too. You're going to get uh, the same thing out of Tyler Anderson every game. A couple innings of not more than four runs usually. Oh, there's a five runner. I guess I lied. Usually he keeps it pretty low and gives your team a chance to win. So that's that. We like that about him. Nick Pavetta. Is a good pitcher. He uh, usually strikes out a decent amount. Yeah, I see against Tampa Bay, three hitter, six Ks. Pittsburgh, three hits, six Ks. And then Atlanta, well, that's spring trading, never mind. So I think we're looking under here. I like the under 10 and maybe the Red Sox on the money line, but under 10 is your best play. Next up, we got the Rangers and the Astros. The Rangers won yesterday. And now they got John Gray on the mound for them against Hunter Brown. Hunter Brown uh, pitched a two hitter last time while against Minnesota. And six hits against Detroit. <clears throat> John Gray, on the other hand, against the Cubs, he pitched. Six hits, two earned runs, four strikeouts, three walks. Uh, against Baltimore, four hits. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, two earned runs, seven Ks, two walks. Um, you think the Rangers can beat Houston back to back? I don't think so. So we're liking. Uh, we're looking at the under eight, and we're looking at the Astros run line and Astros money line. If you're looking for a parlay, put the Astros money line in there. If you're looking just for a straight bet, do the minus one and a half. Alright, next up, we got the Cubs and the Dodgers. Jamison Tyon and Michael Grove. Alright, Tyon is 0-2 this year. Nine innings pitch. Uh, 7 ERA. 9 Ks, 2 walks. Michael Grove. He's been giving up a lot of runs. 12 hits, 9 earned runs, and 3.1 innings against the D backs. Colorado, 2 hits, 3 earned runs, 4 Ks. Uh, who won yesterday? The Cubs. I kind of like the Cubs again today, man. Yeah, I'm looking at the Cubbies. They're plus one and a half. Jesus. I like the Cubbies. Probably money line it look like. Money line and I'm thinking the over. So. If you want the best play, it's probably going to be the over. Alright guys, next up, where do we go? Alright, the last game of the day. We got the Rockies and the Mariners. Ryan Feldner versus George Kirby. Ryan Feldner is 0-1 on the year, 9.2 innings pitched. 7.45 ERA. George Kirby, on the other hand, is on one. 10 innings pitch. Let's click on him, sorry. Come on, man. 
Against Cleveland, he went six innings, five hits, one earned run. Against the Angels, nine hits, four earned runs, five Ks. And did I win yesterday? Yeah, Seattle won five to three. So once again, we're looking at Mariners probably on the run line or Mariners money line. And potentially the over. I think the over might be the way to go actually. Or Mariners money line, but it's highly juiced. Alright guys, that's it for today. I'll bring you a little parlay in a little bit. Um, stay tuned for a KBO preview so we can cash tonight. I'll try to get out a little NPB. And maybe I'll give you my Warriors same game parlay that I hit a bunch on last time they played the Kings. Alright guys, let's get them. Let's beat the books. Kizzle out. Peace.